Self-esteem is what we think of ourselves. What are our values? What is it that we think of ourselves? Having high, high self-esteem is just like having high confidence in yourself. When you have high confidence in yourself, that means you have a high self-esteem as well. When you have a high self-esteem, that means you are confident in yourself as well. They both correlate together. And so having a high self-esteem, like I said, is based on what you think of yourself. What are your values? What is it that you think of yourself? When you have low self-esteem is when you think poorly of yourself generally because of what people think of you generally because of what people say about you or what values they put onto you and so when we want to reach high self-esteem we have to get rid of that importance of whether people think we're good or not or whether we are this or that whatever whatever people think of us is not of our importance like i said high self-esteem is based on what you think of yourself what you say about yourself so if you want high self-esteem you have to make sure you look good to yourself if you look at yourself in the mirror every day and you don't like the way you look you're most likely going to have low self-esteem so you better get yourself a skincare routine. If you don't take care of your skin, you're gonna think poorly of yourself. I was there at one point, trust me. You will end up thinking poorly of yourself because let me just say this. Every day you wake up, everywhere you go, if there's a mirror, the first thing you're gonna see is your face. That's the first thing you're gonna see. The first thing you're gonna see is your face. And if you don't like the way your skin is, you don't like the way your face looks, you're not going to think highly of yourself. Get that clear skin, that smooth skin that you want. If you don't have that, you're going to think poorly of yourself. You're gonna, you're not going to be confident in yourself. You're not going to think that you're this beautiful human being that you are. And so one of the first things you can do is you can get a skincare routine. You actually start taking care of your skin. Because your skin is, a, is the largest organ of the body. Our skin is the largest organ of our body. First thing that you see is your face. That's the first thing that you see. And if you're not confident, if you're not confident, if you don't like the way your skin is, you're going to have a low self-esteem. You're not going to think highly of yourself. I'm telling you this because this is from experience. I've been there before. And so if you want to have a higher self, high self-esteem, you have to make sure you have a good skincare routine to get that clear, flawless, beautiful, smooth skin that you want, that you deserve to have. And so if you have a clearer skin, if you have a smoother skin, when you look at yourself in the mirror every day and you see that your skin is clearer, it's more smoother when you touch it, that's going to give you a higher self-esteem. You're going to think highly of yourself like, damn, you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and you're going to admire your beauty because you look at your skin and you're going to love it. And I'm, like I said, again, I'm speaking from experience because my skin used not, not, was not the best back then. Now it's better than it is. it was before. It's way better. My self-esteem is a lot higher because I invested in the skincare routine. Also, you have to make sure that you brush your teeth. You have to make sure that you brush your teeth every day, morning, afternoon, and night. We eat things every day. Some foods stain our teeth. And when we stain our teeth, we end up having yellow teeth. When you drink coffee, you're staining your teeth. And if you don't brush your teeth to get rid of some of that stain, your teeth over time is going to look yellow. It's going to start looking yellower. You do not want yellow teeth. When you, like I said, just like your face, you look at yourself in the mirror every day, just like your face. Same thing with your smile. When you smile, the first thing that's going to appear is your teeth. And if your teeth are yellow, that's going to be a bad impression. Not only that, you're not going to think highly of yourself as well. You're going to look at yourself in the mirror, and when you smile, you're going to see that you have yellow teeth. And what's going to happen? You're not going to smile no more. You're going to try to not smile because you know that your teeth are not the best. And so one of the things that you could do is you could start brushing your teeth. Not only will this help you for your, your teeth health, but it will also help with your breath. Because you cannot be walking around out here with stink breath. That's something that you cannot do. That's actually something very unattractive as well. You could be the most attractive person from the outside. Your face could be attractive. Your body could be attractive. But the moment you speak to someone, if your breath smells horrible, that will be very unattractive. Because not nobody likes breath that smells bad. Nobody likes stink breath. Nobody likes that breath that smells like doo-doo. You don't want that type of breath. So you should be brushing your teeth not only to, in, to better your breath, but also to get that white teeth that you want, those white teeth that you want to get that bright white smile. You have to make sure you brush your teeth three times a day and also floss. Take care of your teeth. Take care of that, of, of your mouth. Take care of that area of your body. Take care of it because not only are you going to speak with your mouth, not only are people going to smell your breath, but also you're going to give kisses with your mouth. And you cannot kiss someone when you have stank breath or you have yellow teeth. You're going to look more unattractive. And not only that, since you're not going to be confident in your smile and you're not going to be confident when you speak because you have bad breath, you're going to be feeling low of yourself. You're going to speak low of yourself. You're not going to see yourself as someone highly. You're not going to see highly of yourself. And this is going to lead to low self-esteem. So make sure you brush your teeth. Take care of your teeth. Make sure your breath smells good and make sure your teeth are looking white and, and bright. So when you smile, you look good. This also leads into, into the topic of good hygiene. Not only will you take care of your mouth to get that bright white smile and also to 
make sure your breath smells great. But you also have to make sure that you smell good in general, like your whole body. You cannot walk around out here with bad hygiene. If you walk around with bad hygiene, that usually means that you're not confident in yourself and that you have low self-esteem. When you have high confidence and you have a high self-esteem of yourself, when you think highly of yourself, you're gonna do the absolute best to make sure that you take care of yourself. And one of the things that you could do to make to make sure that you take care of yourself is to have a good hygiene. You cannot walk around out here smelling bad. Not only your breath smelling bad, but also your pits smelling bad, your booty smelling bad. You cannot walk around out here with, you know, doo-doo stains in your underwear. You cannot walk around here with, you know, your pits smelling horrible. You're going to see yourself in the mirror. You're going to smell yourself and you're going to see that you don't smell the best. And that's going to lead you to thinking low of yourself. Make sure that you have a good hygiene. Make sure that you smell good, not only from your mouth, but also from your pits. Make sure you wear deodorant. Get good hygiene. Have good hygiene. Make sure you wear deodorant. Make sure you wash yourself great so you won't smell bad in other areas. So make sure that you are taking care of your hygiene. Make sure that you're taking care of how you smell good, that you make sure they smell good on every area to make sure that you not only feel good about yourself because when you walk around and you smell good and you know you smell good, you walk around with your chest up, with your head high, and you feel confident. You have high self-esteem because you know that you smell good, you smell great. And like I said, when you look good, when you smell good, when you know that you smell good, you're going to feel highly of yourself. So make sure you have good hygiene. This might actually surprise you, but it's a real thing. And it may sound strange, but shoot your shot more often to any individual who you see, who you feel attracted to. You see, when we are afraid of shooting our shot, when we are afraid of DMing this girl or when we are afraid of DMing this person, when we are afraid of walking up to this person and give them a compliment, when we are afraid of doing those things, it usually means that we're not that confident in ourselves. And it also means that we are afraid of rejection. You cannot be afraid of re rejection. You cannot be constantly afraid of rejection because rejection is part of life. Not only in personal life, but also in the business world. In business world, rejection is something that will happen just like in your personal life. You will get rejected at times and it's part of the process. You have to accept it. So shooting your shot more often actually boosts your self-esteem. It's like building muscle, right? When you build muscle, you tear down those muscle fibers and you tear down those muscles and you have to rest before you can recover. So when it recovers, it grows bigger. That's how you build muscle. You, you work them out and then once they break down, it comes back stronger. It's like it builds shield. That's how muscles get built. And the same thing when you get when you shoot your shot and you get rejected at times. It's okay in the in the in in that moment when you get rejected, if you get rejected in that moment, you feel hurt. Your ego feels a little bit hurt. Your self-esteem might get hurt a little bit. But if you will get over it. The day after, it will be something that you forget. It's not something that will it's not something that will affect your life forever. It's something that you get over after a day. After that day, you will feel a lot better because you feel you start building up that shield. And and the more you get rejected, the more shield you build. And the more shield you build, the more confident and the more high self-esteem you will have. So when you go up to another person and you, you know, give them a compliment or you ask for their number or you shoot your shot at someone through the DMs or something. Now that you, you know, you've been through rejections here and there and you've already built up that shield, it's not something that will affect you a lot anymore, if anything at all. It's something that you already, you already know is a part of the process. You already know is a part of the journey. And once you get to that point when you won't be phased, that's when you start increasing your self-esteem. Also, work out. When you work out, you look good and you feel good. When you don't look good, you don't feel good. Build that muscle, shed that fat. You know, it's not something that from a week from now, you're gonna end up having abs and you're gonna have these big biceps or you're gonna have these nice glutes or you're gonna have this nice body figure. It's not something that in the week it comes. When it comes to working out, you have to get used to delay gratification because when it comes to working out, it's, it's like building habits. When you build good habits, the results won't be noticeable at that moment. But in a year from now, in six months from now, as time goes by, it starts comp compounding. These good habits start compounding and they become more noticeable. Not only are you gonna have high self-esteem, your confidence is gonna skyrocket and you're gonna be healthier. Physically and mentally, you're gonna be healthier. So start working out, start putting in the work on a daily basis, five times, four times a week, one hour or 30 minutes. But like I said, you may think that those 30 or one hour is not noticeable now, but in six months from now, a year from now, the results are gonna be way noticeable. And then people are gonna be like, what have you been doing? Well, I've been putting in the work by, on my own. And people don't, know, don't realize that. People only see the results, but they don't see all the work that you put in that end up with those results. Like I said, the work that you put in won't be that noticeable, but the results will. The results will speak for themselves. Also, tell yourself out loud good things. Tell yourself good things, speak 
positive affirmations to yourself. Believe it or not, this works a lot. This works out perfectly. This is actually very effective. You see, what you say to yourself is very important because your subconscious mind is always listening to you. Whether you believe it or not, your subconscious mind is listening 24 seven. So everything you say about yourself, your subconscious mind will believe. Your subconscious mind believes anything you tell it. So if you tell it you are not great, if you speak poorly of yourself, your subconscious mind will believe that. And then your subconscious mind, subconsciously, you're not gonna feel highly of yourself. You're gonna feel poorly of yourself. You're gonna think poorly of yourself. You're not gonna be confident. So you have to speak positive affirmations. You have to tell yourself good things out loud. Go to the mirror and actually look at yourself and tell yourself positive things. Tell yourself everything, what you wish people were to tell you, what you wish people were to tell you, tell yourself that yourself. Tell that to yourself. Your subconscious mind is gonna start believing it. Even if it's not true at that moment, your subconscious mind is gonna believe it and guess what? Your subconscious mind is gonna to get to work. Your mind is gonna to get to work to make that believable, to make it come true. That's the power of the subconscious mind. And if you tell yourself you're 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 this person, you're you're horrible, you're you're not good looking, you're you're very unconfident. If you keep on telling yourself this these things, you're gonna believe it. Your subconscious mind is gonna to get to work and it's gonna make you believe it because you're telling it. So remember, your subconscious mind is always listening. So make sure you speak highly of yourself. You wish other people were to tell you these good things. Instead of waiting for them to tell you these good things, tell yourself these good things. Like I said, self-esteem is when you believe highly of yourself, when you stop caring about what other people think of you and you care more about the values that you have for yourself and what you think of yourself. Have a mission and a purpose in your day-to-day -day life, okay? Have a mission. Every day you wake up, have a mission, have a purpose, get right to your purpose, get right to your mission. When you when you live your life with no missions, when you live your life with no purpose, you wake up every day sad, you wake up every day not confident in yourself, you wake up every day with no purpose, you wake up depressed, you wake up sad, you wake up with no no feelings, you don't wake up with enthusiasm to start the day. And when you, when you don't wake up with enthusiasm to start the day, when you don't look, when you don't look at the day as a good day to, to make something happen, you end up with low self-esteem because you end up believing that you have nothing going on in life. You end up believing that you have no purpose in this life. And when you believe that you have no purpose in this life, you end up depressed. You end up depressed and you end up feeling sad all the time. Feeling sad, feeling that you don't have no part in this earth. You have no mission in this earth when it's actually the opposite. You actually have a mission in this earth. You have a purpose in this earth. Find out what gets you excited to wake up every single day. Wake up every day with enthusiasm to get the day started. Knowing that this day is another day that you could dominate, you could get closer to any goal that you have or any purpose, any mission that you have, any purpose that you wish to fulfill. When you have a mission, you start boosting your self-esteem because you start to realize you have a part in this world. You have a big purpose in this world. You were put in this world for a bigger reason. So boosting your self-esteem, not caring about what people think of you, eliminating that obstacle. Okay, people think you're this and that, who cares what they think? What matters is what you think of yourself. If you think highly of yourself, if you truly think highly of yourself, if you have high values, if you have high confidence, this is when you start having higher self-esteem. This is when you start slowly but surely boosting your self-esteem. When you constantly care about what other people think of you and you put this as a factor in how you think of yourself, that's when you start having low self-esteem. When you actually start taking care of yourself, when you actually look in the mirror and you actually think highly of yourself and you actually admire your own self, that's when you have this high self-esteem that you've been wishing for. That's when you have this high self-esteem that you've been craving for. And that's when you don't let other people's opinions get to you. 